and uh, good morning from a bright and sunny uh, Lüneburger Heide in Germany. This is uh, day two of my two day trip here in the uh, beautiful uh, region that is called Lüneburger Heide. So it's a very large heath area. Uh, just I'm just about I think 50k south of Hamburg and uh, yesterday I did part of the uh, southern part of the Lüneburger Heide and today it's going to be the north and a slightly longer one maybe 70-75k still not very long but uh, I do find that uh, graveling takes up a little bit more time and uh, well I'm in no hurry so I'm really trying to uh, to enjoy uh, every meter of it. If it's even half as good as yesterday's then uh, happy days. And I am happy to report I actually had a spare um, mount for my uh, GoPro. So this is a, a magnetic mount that I'm using and uh, that works very very well. It's uh, made by Ulanzi. I'll put a link down below if uh, that's something you might be interested in and uh, it was not that mount's fault that uh, that, it, that it broke down yesterday because um, I tried to uh, make my way through uh, some crop field and uh, that was not uh, that was not advisable so my front wheel stuck and uh, the whole of my uh, body weight pretty much fell on the uh, on the GoPro so I'm, I'm very happy that nothing else uh, broke down or well, seems to have because I'm now recording but I obviously I don't know if it's actually working so uh, <laughs> that's going to be a true test Let's just uh, start cycling for now. All right, see you later. Well, it seems I have the road all to myself. Thanks to some road works that uh, apparently uh, lasts for five months or so. Oh, at any rate, I should uh, we're heading left than 200 meters, so I don't think uh, this road is going to cause me any problems. Ooh, very sandy all of a sudden. Not my favorite terrain. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. That was more mountain bike terrain. There is no telling if this is the right track or not. I just have to go with it for now. It's such a maze. Oh. Kind of cool, but right. oh, what an absolutely lovely trail! This is so much fun. Bear in mind, I'm not the most technically gifted on the bike, it is pretty much it's doable. So, uh, if I can do it, so can you. If ever you need proof that you need a gravel bike, well. This should be it. Ha. Hello. Another big plus of uh, this morning's ride, and uh, in fact, the uh, same applies to the ride I did yesterday, is that I can actually ride these tracks. And uh, in Holland, I think they would be predominantly made for uh, pedestrians. And if you uh, venture out on these tracks, then uh, you're met with uh, some uh, unfriendly stairs sometimes. And uh, yeah, true enough, sometimes they are actually prohibited to cyclists, so they would be in their rides. But uh, here actually I saw a sign stating that uh, you'd have to look out for one another, basically. And uh, so it can actually work. I think I'm not too bad at, 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 you know, making sure that I don't hinder anyone on the road. That's pretty much my number one rule. I can't always succeed, of course, but uh, yeah, I, I do try. So uh, it's not quick going, but it is so, so, so much fun. So, ha! Let's just uh, go on. Well, for sheer contrast, this is not a good road. Very sandy, very slippery, and exceptionally bumpy. So, well, some good and some bad, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
route my route today is going to almost connect to the route I took yesterday in terms of um, the highest point the only funny thing is I've not seen any sheep or any other cattle or animal for that matter in these uh, two days at all so maybe they're being kept in a separate location or on uh, one part of the park I don't know kind of strange because you would see sheep on, on pretty much any heath in the Netherlands well, we'll see. All right, let's just uh, continue. See ya. Honestly, I do not see the appeal to cobblestones. I mean, oh, very, very bumpy. Nice, these uh, farm houses. See if we can actually find some coffee somewhere. That would be nice. Maybe this is the part of the sheep. Yeah, zebras. No wildlife. Oh well. So now, now we're going that way. Climbing on sand. Whose idea is that? Oh, well, this is my first cobblestone climb. I hope it's going to be my last. Well, I do hope it's not cobblestones downhill as well, because. This was not fun. <laughs> oh well. Started off here, then I went up north a little bit, and then down, and I touched the Zeta, which was the highest point that I reached yesterday. And now apparently I'm here. So chances are I'll be going that way again. Look at that whole field of sunflowers. Lovely. So far today, the track has been uh, much more foresty with uh, some nice open fields. Oh, but this is really beautiful. Glad I made the decision to come here. Nice. This is a nice spot for a little pause. Lovely. Oh, it's a shame I just had a break five or ten minutes ago. This is, would have been a nice spot as well. Epic day again. Man. It's so nice to discover these uh, nature areas. I just wish that I'd found a love for cycling uh, 30 years ago. But then again, I wouldn't have to, had the means to, to do this. So there's always that. Right, I'll just uh, slowly move on and see what, what comes next. So see ya. Wow, that is an epic little climb over there. I do hope the, <laughs> the road goes to the left. Wow, I did not think I could do that. Ooh. Let's not tempt faith. <laughs> this is too steep for me. Wow. That is, uh, I'm not going to descend there. Nice. It probably will flow into the Elba, I think. Over there is already a sign for the Oktoberfest. Oh, it's only one month away. I thought it was, well, it's September. Why would you call it October? Ah, oh well. Very cool, these uh, signings. No idea what that means, but. Let's push the mall. Let's go for it. Yes. Very nice. Oh, actually, I think I'm only three or so, three or four k away from the car, but I've designed another loop. <laughs> and why not? This is just beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy I uh, 
upgraded my bike lately with the, uh, the arrival ETAP set because I've been able to come on very steep inclines now and I um, certainly would not have been able to do that with the Apex so uh, yeah it's just fantastically I only think that the brakes might need some after work they're a bit spongy but other than that yeah we'll see what it brings on the next bike packing trip which starts in two weeks right a uh, little break now and I'll see you I'll see you after the break <laughs> Beautiful system for the bees. Cool. Pretty well made. Absolutely beautiful. It's the end of the ride. I hope you uh, enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I'm going to uh, slowly. Uh, get dressed again, hop in the car and then have my uh, three hour drive back home. So uh, be well, enjoy your rides and uh, stay safe out there and see you in the next video. Ciao!